You'll hear many people say, I want to get a promotion this year. This year, I want to lose weight. It's that time of year when people, they make New Year's resolutions. And the saying that goes, you know, people, with most people, their wudu and their evolution last longer than their resolutions. I hope we're not from amongst them. And I was pondering today, I was thinking, a lot of the New Year's resolutions we make are somewhat selfish. I want a promotion, I want to lose weight, I want a new car. So every resolution we make pertains to ourselves. How many of us make resolutions to become a better person? To become a better citizen? To become a better father? Better son? No. We are always demanding our rights, but we're never concerned about fulfilling the rights of others. So let's make a resolution, not just in terms of dunya. Because most people, when you talk to them, the resolutions they make pertain to dunya. A car, a better job, a nicer house. How many people make a resolution that this year I am going to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This year I am going to learn Quran. Six months ago I talked about the importance of Tajweed. A few people from here approached me and said we will start Tajweed with you. My friend, six months have passed and nobody's approaching me. Well, let's make a resolution that we're going to start the gym. Before you reach home, you'll, you'll go on Google and find the cheapest offer in the gym locally. When it comes to dunya, my friends, you know, we're ever ready. When it comes to deen, why are we not willing to make a change? Because the first step, my friends, is recognizing and acknowledging that we need to make a change. We need to bring our lives closer to the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just taking it off a tangent for the moment. On New Year's Eve, families gather around the TV. And now many of our youth travel to London just to watch fireworks. My friends, as Muslims, how can we condone and how can we justify the spending of 3.25 million pounds? The estimated cost of the fireworks in London, 3.25 million pounds. Muslims, the very same people who do not sleep at night when their neighbor is hungry. 300,000 people in the UK are either homeless or in temporary housing. From the last year, access to food banks has increased by 13%. The previous year, only 6%. So my friends, as Muslims, as citizens of this country, how can we justify to our children the spending of over 3 million on fireworks? Yes, you may not have purchased fireworks yourselves, but sitting around the TV and watching them gives a sense of justification to your children. That if today you're going to watch fireworks displayed, tomorrow your children will spend money on fireworks. So my friends, we need to make a resolution that we're, we're going to bring our lives back onto the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're going to make a difference in people's lives. Let's make a resolution that at least once a week we're going to help one person who is less fortunate than us. We're going to help out in homeless shelters. We're going to help out in soup kitchens. Let's make a resolution we're going to make a difference to society. This is very important, my friends. Otherwise, really, all of our motives, our aspirations, our resolutions pertain to ourselves <coughs> and pertain to dunya. I finish on the hadith of the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, mentioned in Tabrani. Some ulama have discussed the authenticity of this narration. The Messenger, alayhi salam, is reported to have said, Niyatul mu'min khayrun min amali. The intention of a believer is better than his good deed. Allahu Akbar. 
In Bukhari we find that a person man hamma bi hasana, whoever intends to do a good deed. So for example, you intend to pay tahajjud. You intend to help the homeless. But for some reason you are unable to carry out the good deed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will still give you a reward for your intention. So I end my khutbah on this. That let's make an intention to make a positive contribution to society. وَآخِرْ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّنَا